These are the three components required for DJI FPV racing. You've got the goggles, the controller, and the air unit. This is the air unit in here. Um, whether you buy them as a kit or individually, they've all got to be individually activated and then linked together. So let's do that. We need to download the DJI Assistant software from the DJI website. Make sure you get the particular FPV option. You do that by clicking on Consumer, DJI FPV Series, bottom right corner, Download, and then grab the one that's right for you, whether it's Windows or Mac, and install that. So power on the goggles. I'm just using a power pack from the quad. And then USB C. Open up your newly installed FPV assistant, which will look like this. They'll simply connect via USB. And you can see this one specifically says DJI FPV goggles. Once you've activated them all individually, then we'll have a look at linking them all together. Because this is the first time you've activated them, be prepared for firmware updates to be required as well. They all require USB-C. Some of the air units are a little bit tricky to get to. Uh, this one here will actually require you to remove one of the ducts before you can access it. A couple of tips with the goggles. Some cable ties around this section will stop the power cable from being pulled out. And also, I like a bit of tape around this section here. That way the cable can run down your back and your power pack can sit in your pocket if that suits you. Okay, so we're activated and updated. So let's connect the goggles to the air unit. Power on the goggles and power on the air unit. So you'll need a pin to depress this section and that continual beeping will um, suggest that it's ready to be linked. Press the link button on the air unit. After a few moments, it should be linked. Once the linking is complete, you'll see the um, image in the goggles. So to link the controller, we're gonna to need to press three buttons at once. The record button, the C button, and also the right dial. Record, C, right dial. And that beeping represents that it's ready to be linked. And then we need to press the link button on the air unit. The green light, it represents that we're totally linked and everything is now activated. We do now need to put some information onto the flight controller, which is in here. And I'll also show you a couple of hacks of how to increase the transmission power and also to give you some extra channels within the goggles. So this is the flight controller. It's the computer, it's the microprocessor, it does everything for the quad. We need to upload some software or firmware to it. We're gonna use Betaflight. If you've never used that before, it can be a little bit overwhelming. I'm gonna put a link in the description and we'll create a video to um, help you with that. So the goggles, as amazing as they are, they do have some limitations. One of those is a maximum of four channels, so four people racing at a time and also um, limited on their power output. I'm going to show you how to adjust both of those and that'll be a new video and the link will be in the description. I do hope you got something from that video. It's just a little bit of me giving back to the drone community, um, info I've learned from friends and YouTube and there'll be more to come.